Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to learn Chapter 10, Mechanical and Sound Wave. So in this video, we are going to discuss subtopic 10.4, Application of Standing Wave. Okay. For this application of Standing Wave, there are two parts. The first part is the straight string and the second part is the air cooler. Okay, so let us look at stationary wave on the string. When one end of the stretch string is vibrated, a traveling wave moves along the string and it will reflect from the other end. So meaning that one is going to the left and another one it will reflect back to the right. So the wave interferes with its own reflection and so a stationary wave is set up. The end of the string here because already tight cannot move so the end both end must be not at both end okay at both end where the part where it cannot move so it must be not so this is the fundamental or we call it as first harmonic where we know that the first harmonic of a length is equal to lambda over 2 okay so therefore our wavelength is equal to 2l and the frequency we know that v equals to f lambda therefore frequency is equal to v over lambda Okay, so F is equal to V over lambda, where lambda here is equal to 2L. So this is our fundamental or the first harmonic. Okay, next, let us look at the second harmonic or the first over 2. So here we have lambda over 2 and we have 2 lambda over 2. So therefore, our length here is actually equal to 2 lambda over 2. Okay, so 2 and 2 we can cancel, therefore our wavelength is actually equal to L. So if you substitute here, actually we know that the second harmonic is actually equal to 2 first harmonic. Or we can write it as 2 V over 2L. So therefore our second harmonic we also can write it as V over L. Okay, okay next third harmonic or we can call it as second over third. Okay, so meaning that we have... 3 lambda over 2 okay 1 lambda over 2 2 lambda over 2 3 lambda over 2 okay so our l here is actually equal to 3 lambda over 2 or our wavelength we can write it as 2 over 3 l okay so the third harmonic f3 we can write it as equal to 3 f1 or we can write it as 3 f1 is v over 2 l so our third harmonic we can write it as 3v over 2l. Okay, so as a general we know that equation for the harmonic is fn is equal to n v over 2l. Okay, so depends on you are in which harmonic. Okay, and for the string here, our v for the string is actually equal to third tension over mu okay where mu equals to mass per unit length okay so if you want to substitute into the equation we also can write it as n over 2l third tension over mu okay so this is the frequency for the string next let us look at the stationary wave in air coulomb so in a stationary wave can be set up in the tube of the air such as the organ pipe as a result of interference between the sound wave traveling in opposite direction. So the relationship between the incident wave and also the refracted wave depends on whether the reflecting end of the tube is open or closed. So if let's say it is one end is closed, the knot must be exit in the end because the movement of the air is restricted okay if this is an the end is open the element of air have complete freedom of motion and an anti knot exits okay so meaning that if this is a open pipe meaning that both end must be anti knots okay if this is a closed pipe meaning that the part that is closed it must be not and the part that is open must be anti knot okay so we look at the first one open pipe first for open pipe our fundamental or we call it first harmony is actually equal to l equal to lambda over 2 okay and for the second harmony 
we have 2 lambda over 2. Okay, and for our third harmonic, or we can call it as second over term, we have 3 lambda over 2. Okay, so 1, 2, 3 lambda over 2. Okay, so therefore, in general, we can write it as Fn is equal to V over 2L. Okay, so this is a general equation for open pipe. Okay, it's actually similar like just now the stretch string. Okay, the equation is almost similar. Okay, however, for a closed pipe, the equation is a little bit different with the open pipe and the stretch string because one end is called closed, another end is open. Okay, so our fundamental or the first harmonic here is only equals to lambda over 4. Okay, so meaning that our lambda is equal to 4L. Okay, so our equation F equals to V over lambda. When we substitute our frequency, we will get V over 4L. Okay, so every time when we increase lambda over 4, okay, so we have lambda over 4 and another lambda over 4. What happened is at the open end here, it is a knot. Okay, it's a knot. So it's actually impossible to have knot because it's an open end. Okay, so second harmonic actually does not appear. Okay, because our closed end here must be knot and the open end must be anti knot. So we don't have second harmonic because the open end here must have anti knot, but here only shows knot. So we don't have second harmonic. Okay, let us go to the third harmonic. Okay, so third harmonic, we must have 3 lambda over 4. So 1 lambda over 4, 2 lambda over 4, and 3 lambda over 4. Okay, so lambda over 4, lambda over 4, lambda over 4. And at the end of the closed end here is actually not. And at the end of the open end is actually anti not. Okay, so third harmonic actually appear. So we can write our third harmonic equation F3 is equal to 3F1. Okay, so third harmonic here we also call it as first over tone. Okay, okay next we go to the fourth harmonic. Okay, lambda over 4, 1, lambda over 4, 2, lambda over 4, 3, and lambda over 4. Okay, so this is actually 4 lambda over 4, or we can write it as fourth harmonic. So if you refer back to fourth harmonic, closed end, yes, we have not, but the open end also we have not. Okay, so therefore, fourth harmonic also will not appear because of the open end is not. Okay, it should be anti not. So meaning that we don't have fourth harmonic. So we will straight away go to fifth harmonic where we have one lambda over four, two lambda over four, three lambda over four, four lambda over four, and five lambda over four. Okay, so our L here is equal to 5 lambda over 4. Okay, where if you refer back here, the closed end is not and the open end is anti not. Okay, so this is fifth harmonic or we can say is second over tone. Okay, so in general, equations for the closed pi is equal to N V over 4L, where N here equals to 1, 3, 5 meaning that we don't have second harmonic we don't have fourth harmonic okay we only have odd harmonic only okay so this one you must remember okay, okay so that's all for this subtopic so please click on the next video we will discuss on the exercise 4 for the application of the standing wave see you in next video bye